Hey, Ardy Army Arties, and welcome to Medieval Tech Tutorials. Today, we shall be taking a look at how to connect the rotor to a small frame. Now, what is a small frame? Well, it's anything built from the logs, and if I could get one down, and this will be, well, specifically to how to connect it to a dynamic frame, so you can build your own walking machines or mobile catapults or whatever you want to build that requires uh, the rotor on a small frame. Uh, now this isn't the most complicated build ever, it's a little bit, it's a medium complicated build. And what you want to do before you even start building is figure out where you want your rotor, in which orientation do you want it, do you want it to face like this on your build? or on the side, uh, on any of these orientations, or do you want it to be upside down? Uh, now remember that the square part will be where you draw your power, and the plus side will be the side that is connected to the actual frame itself. And if you don't get it right away, then I'm not gonna blame you because, well, it's, it's gonna make more sense once we've actually built it. Now what you wanna do, is place it in the orientation that you want, and this might of course change as you, well, decide what you want to do. Uh, so, well, if you don't know exactly what you're doing, then watch the entire video and then decide. So what we will be doing is building our frame from this. So I'm placing this in in uh, the shadow because I, I want to show you what happens on the other side. Uh, but what you want to do is place it down on a well, a large structure, place down the rotor, and build your structure from the rotor. Uh, now use an odd block, so I'm using a 9 block here, this is the max length 10, 10 block long. It's a 9 block long, you can see it's the same distance as the actual rotor itself. So I'm gonna do that, and I'm gonna build my frame from this. I placed these two legs at the bottom to prevent it from tipping. Now that is just to make it easier to build. You don't have to do that, uh, but it does make it a bit easier to add the uh, <clears throat> the stilts that you will need to be adding. Now of course I played to 10 long, so I'm gonna make a nine long here just to make sure that it is the same distance on both sides. I'm gonna add that, so there we go. Going to add my legs on all of the sides or all of the corners. I'm gonna do this so that I can drop it down on the ground because I'm going to need to build things right here. And I don't need to make it exactly this wide. You can make it a bit like thinner, uh, but not much, a couple of blocks or so. Uh, but now we have reached a key point or a milestone or whatever you wanna call it. And we're gonna make a save, a quick save by pressing Shift F5 and that is to make a quick save. Uh, we deleted the blocks and this is now a completely dynamic structure with a rotor on it. And now that we have put it on the ground, this could be a good place to do a quick save. As soon as you do something and nothing has exploded or gone wrong, then you can quick save. Then that's a good measure of uh, when to save. Uh, so we have an issue here and that is that we cannot place anything on this square frame. And this square frame is what will be rotating. And there's really, we can't place anything on this. Well, we can place large blocks, but that's not going to help us a lot. Uh, or at least it's going to be a very heavy, heavy, heavy thing that we'll need to place. There's probably a way to work around that, but I haven't thought of any yet. Uh, so what we're going to be doing is, I'm, first of all, I'm just going to demonstrate why we're doing the next step we're going to do. So let's build that out. And I'm going to place... A catch block on this and this is the center of which the square frame is going to rotate and you can see here that it does not line up with the catch block that I have placed and we need to place a catch block so that this piece can move what we're going to do is encompass the square frame so the rotation will transfer over to the small grid and we need a catch block to rotate and as you can see, this wouldn't work because it is off-centered by half a block. So our goal here now is to make sure that the catch block that will be 
centered upon this. Well, just make sure that it is actually centered upon that. So we're going to place a couple of catch blocks. And I'm just going to eyeball this and see if I made it right. So I'm going to save that. And place. I'm going to see one, two, three, four. It looks like a five block. And that is exactly what I want. Now you can make this smaller or larger. Uh, it doesn't really matter. I just like to make this size because it fits well once everything is placed. So I'm going to make the square frame here. And remember this trick because it's useful in a lot of other places as well. So what we're going to do is connect these four catch blocks uh, diagonally. Not, well, not diagonally, but horizontally and vertically. And we're going to make them act as one structure. And now, normally, catch block would rotate, but because we have connected four of them and they are side by side and above each other, it would bump into this, which you should, of course, save before you do that in case you bump it too hard or something. Uh, but if I bump into this, you're going to see that it pretty much acts as a solid structure, like if it's actually connected uh, with the normal blocks to this uh, square frame or to this small structure. And you can see that this structure itself, the one that we have here, is actually off-centered to the normal structure. So if we place a catch block on this now, uh, you will see that this catch block will be centered on the rotor. So let's place that there and you'll see that it is centered on the rotor. So we can build our uh, cage from that. We can call it a cage because it's well caging the rotor here now something important to keep in mind here is that you don't want this to rotate uh, you want it to stay pretty much stationary so what we're going to do is we're actually going to build out two blocks and we're going to add a <coughs> a gear so there we go that's our gear we're going to add our ropes to that Did it rotate? Yeah, it rotated. So let's re let's redo really that. It rotated, and now it's definitely rotated. So if that happens, you're going to replace it uh, because it is fairly important that it does not rotate. And the reason for that is when you connect it to whatever it is you want to connect, you want both of them to be in their original position. Uh, that way, you won't have any problems with the. Uh, with the rotations uh, in the end it will be a more stable build we're going to build a fake gear that cannot rotate over here I'm going to do that so adding the four rope ends here and we're going to connect these two now once you've done this uh, you do not want to delete any blocks that is on this structure and uh, there's currently in this update that you can see down here in the bottom right corner, uh, which update that is. Uh, there is a bug that if you delete something that has ropes attached to it, uh, then it will violently shake. And on a structure like this, that is a dynamic structure, it will explode and just break everything. So now that you've connected the ropes, do a quick save so that doesn't happen. And if it does happen, you can just reload the game and you haven't lost anything. So what we're going to do now is we're going to build our cage. And we're going to take a 9 block, so the second longest block. And add a 2 block to that and make a well, an L shape, a corner on either side. And we're going to build up and you're going to just... You can do, do an eyeballing here. You can see it should stick up one extra block. Do this uh, stick out there. Same on the bottom, of course. That's what happens if you don't think about it. And uh, that's why we do the quick saves. So you can see, even though I just told you to quick save because of the rope bug, I instantaneously forgot it. Now that could also be because I am uh, trying to explain things as I'm going. Uh, but it is very easy to forget. And if you play something that's wrong, you will need to delete it. So just remember to do a lot of quick saves that you just saw me doing. And uh, once you've re rebuilt what you've lost, if you did lose something, you can uh, place this square frame. Now, it isn't 
technically needed uh, to make this work. But it is very helpful because it diminishes the, uh, the play. Uh, so if we were just to have the little stick in the center here, uh, it would still rotate. It would rotate with the uh, square frame here on the rotor. Uh, but if it stopped rotating, it could move well up and fifth of a turn or a sixth of a turn or something like that. It can, ro it can rotate quite a bit without the actual square frame rotating as well. So that's something to keep in mind. Now you can keep this while you're building for example your legs and when you're building the legs the way I did it is I just built the same thing as I did here uh, on the sides and I built it up and I added a, a few extra bits and pieces I'm not going to show that because that's not the point of this video I think you can figure it out yourself just do the same trick trick as you did here and uh, just make sure that it doesn't rotate and then you disconnect this and you move it over to the ropes uh, so we're just gonna for demonstration purposes Disconnect this and you'll see that it doesn't rotate if you disconnect it. So it's a, it's in a safe place uh, If you bump into it, of course, it's going to rotate. So be careful about that if you are feeling uh, Unconfident in your ability to move because the jetpack is not the best flying tool uh, then press F8 and you can use the Spectator camera which doesn't uh, collide with anything the camera is <laughs> Of course, way too fast to make it an enjoyable experience, but at least it works. You can't play stuff, you can't do the rope, so you will have to do that in normal mode. Just press F6 and you will go back to that. Uh, but anyway, let's start this thing and you will see it rotating. And you can see that it is, well, it's just stuck in the frame. There's a little bit of play that can happen here, uh, but it's not much. Uh, it's a pretty, pretty solid build. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to leave a like. If you didn't, feel free to leave a dislike. And I shall see you next time.